Good morning, this is smartwatchspecifications.com, the premier site for smartwatch specs, news, and reviews. Okay, we are back again on our third review, unboxing, and review of this wearable, the, the Ticris GTX smartwatch. Okay, the last time we have the unboxing, in the second video, we have the review of its features and specs, as well as the menus. This time we're going to connect it to our our support app. Okay, so we're going to download the support app in the Android platform and install it to our smartphone and connect the smartwatch to the support app. Okay, so let's take a look first at the design of the smartwatch. Beautiful design, wide screen display. If you check out the specs below if you want to know the specs okay looks rugged and it has a lot of sport functions okay let me show it to you the sports functions okay a beautiful screen wide display screen comfortable to wear without with its slightly curved body as well as the as well as the screen display here okay PC material here to make it lightweight and with a metal bezel here to add durability to the smartwatch so we have here a very thick durable strap with stainless steel buckle here and it has a lot of functions especially for the health features we have the heart rate blood pressure okay and we have sleep monitoring here and other options okay so let's see and install the smartwatch to our support app okay so here in our user manual we're going to download the support app we have here the qr code so our support app is the f fit app available in google play and ios okay so let's download it if you happen to lose your user manual we have here i guess in the smartwatch we have also have here the qr code okay so it's a link for your google play app store Okay, so let's download the app and let's try to install the support app. Okay, so we have here the Play Store. Again, the name for our app. We have the FFIT app. So let's search FFIT. Okay, let's see so we have here the same logo okay so let's install so it is around 40 mb and 100 k 100,000 downloads okay it has a good review here 4.0 what else let's see what are the details here monitor your movements and health in real time okay so last update it's March 3, 2021. Okay, 40 MB. Okay, let's install and check. Okay, it's still pending while we are waiting for the download. Again, let's have a closer look at the design of the smartwatch. So here's the physical button here okay the sensors on the bottom part okay it has the magnetic charging stainless steel buckle here and it is very lightweight okay so we have here in comparison of the xiaomi mi band 5 okay while well, this is your tikris gtx look at the screen difference okay 
very huge or very wide screen display for the GTX and this is your Mi Band 5 okay so let's wait so we are already around 60% okay for here for the menus let's take a look we have the heart rate blood pressure sports monitoring we have sleep function we have the notifications qr code timer countdown and the settings we have the themes okay let's see okay and additional information we have the bright screen time let's make it longer let's make it 20 seconds okay and what else and this information we have the reboot we have the reset and about the end turning off your smartwatch okay let's check almost 90 percent and it's already installing let's wait okay so that's it i guess it is successfully installed okay and we have successfully installed the F with app. Okay, so let's go back again. So agree. And we have here the option to sign up or log in. So this is just our first time. So to make it fast, we're just going to tap on the visitor login. If you want to record your data, I think you should sign up and log into your account. Okay, let's scare it out. I guess it needs to. Okay, let's just hide. Okay, let's just put some temporary data here carry out then skin color okay let's make it the default okay 8000 steps so it is asking again for permissions so this is the gps allow fp to access this device's location so we will allow it Allow FP to access photos, media, and files on your device. Allow, allow FP to take pictures and record video. I guess this is for the remote photo feature. Allow it. Allow FP to access your contacts. Okay, that is for notifications and manage phone calls. Okay, call logs also allow. In order to use the notification service normally, please open fp3 notification permission okay so let's give it a permission okay so we're done with it and that's it so here is our ui for the smart watch okay the fp app so so far no details here let's go to the device and add tap on the device click to add your device here found that your gps is not turned on so let's turn it on okay so it is now searching for our smartwatch so searching for devices again let's go back and try so it is looking for the smartwatch so we have here the gtx i guess this is the smartwatch but if you want to be sure let's see if we have the details here 
on the smart watch so as you can see here we have the equipment model gtx 4 f8 so we have it here okay as well as the address okay so it is the same okay let's tap on the device so it is now binding Let's see if it will take a minute or more. So bind successfully. Okay, so far we successfully bind our smartwatch. So let's see if it's working. Data we have here, of course, zero. Do not disturb mode. So that's it. So very easy to connect it with your smartwatch. Okay. For the F fit so far we did not experience any issues okay let's see we have the reminders here we have sedentary reminder drinking water reminder alarm medication reminder and meeting reminder so you can set it on your own you can put a schedule for notifications notify only when the phone is locked okay so let's turn it on Okay, and let's have the Twitter, Facebook, and the Skype, SMS also, and incoming calls. Okay, and what else? So, find device. Let's see. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so it's working. For